He was a descendant of the Vietnamese martyrs, the heir of a spiritual and political legacy, and he would become a modern-day martyr and prophet of hope. He left a legacy. He always said, be faithful to the church, embrace the world with the ardor of your love. One of the reasons why the communists hated him is because he was such a charismatic and gifted leader. He lived a very extreme situation. He was not only 13 years in the prison, but nine years completely isolated in a small cell. But it was in the darkness of his cell that Cardinal Francis Xavier Nguyen Van Thuan discovered the light of his faith. Có một số bạn hỏi tôi sức mạnh của cha để chịu đựng là gì? Sức mạnh để giúp tôi chịu đựng là phép thánh thể. Thuan was saying mass with a few drops of wine and a, and a very, very small piece of bread. He said that there is no more identity, and it is in those kind of times when he took refuge in the Eucharist, and they were for him the most beautiful masses of his life. A patriot in a country torn apart by war, the nephew of an assassinated president he loved, a bishop cut off from his faithful. Francis Nguyen Van Thuan discovered that even when everything crumbles around us, and perhaps even within us, Christ remains our unfailing support. Salt and Light Television is proud to present an inspirational new film, Road of Hope, the spiritual journey of Cardinal Nguyen Van Thuan. L'amore vince tutto, e l'ho provato, voi avete provato. Amen.